Welcome back to another video. I'm here with this 2003 Civic and we're doing front lower control arms because the bushings on this are all ripped up. So I'm going to go through step by step, show you how to do it, save you some money. If I save you some money, check me out on Patreon, a dollar a month, 12 bucks a year. It helps out more than you think trying to make videos and uh, buy equipment and do all kinds of other stuff. So let's get into this video. Before we get started, ignore the fact there's no axle. The steps I'm giving you are going to be the same. Here's a part number for the passenger side, RK640287. This is for move. Here's a part number for the driver side, RK640288. Remove the cotter pin that goes through this castle nut on the ball joint. And then you're also going to use a 19 millimeter to remove this bolt, but don't remove it all the way. Remove it, spin it around where these castle parts are on the top. Flush the nut with the top of here because we're gonna, we're gonna be tapping on this to break the ball joint loose. And we don't wanna damage the threads on the ball joint and we don't wanna damage the top part of the castle nut. This is how you want it to go on where it's flush down here and the castle parts are on top. That way, when you tap this with a hammer or tap here with a hammer, you don't slip and hit the threads and mess up the ball joint. To get the ball joint loose from here, there's a couple options. First option I always try to do is I put a jack on the rotor. I jack up the spindle so there's pressure going up. Then I take a hammer and I hit the control arm right here. I hit it down. So a lot of the times that's enough to break it loose and then it'll just pop down to this and then once this is loose you just take the nut off and uh, pull the ball joint out of here. If that does not work you have other options. Uh, you could put a pry bar here and pry from the control arm here and then have somebody else hit it at the same time that you're um, prying here to add extra force right to go down in order to get this thing to come loose. Last option, which I don't like, unless you're gonna swap the ball joint, is to pry here, and then take a hammer and knock here on the ball, on the thread part of the ball joint, and knock the ball joint out. That's my least favorite option. I'd rather keep jacking this up until there's a lot of pressure that gets this loose. 99% of the time, this will come off that way. Now that the ball joint's broken loose, Take the nut all the way off, and you should be able to move it like that. So it'll be easy to remove from here. Use a 19 millimeter to take the bolt out that's going horizontal through the back of the control arm. It's also gonna be a 19 millimeter that holds this front part to the car. Look how dry rotted and torn this bushing is. Like, if I hit this a couple times, the whole thing will just rip out. If your car is this old and you're still on the factory control arms, I guarantee yours are bad like this too. There's no way the bushings have lasted this many years. Start by jamming in the control arm in the general uh, position. Get the ball joint through the control arm here and put the nut on. Now you're going to go like this, sort of push it in, take a hammer if you need. What you're doing on this front one first, you're going to line up the hole down here. You might have to take a flathead screwdriver, I think, like I'm going to have to. Yeah, I'm going to have to use a flathead screwdriver to line it up. And then start that bolt by hand. Get it as many turns as you can first. Now we're gonna push here with a mixture of pushing, pulling. Um, you're gonna use a pry bar to lift this. You can jam. You can jam a pry bar in here to lift up a little. 
and you can tap here and it'll push it in a little. So just keep tapping it until the hole lines up. Put that bolt in by hand, a few threads as well. Jack up the rotor until the vehicle starts to lift. Now you can tighten down these bolts here and here. Um, torque them as tight as you want. I'm sure there's a spec, but I always have my own fat guy spec and it's never failed me. So uh, I'm sure you can just go online, look it up. It's probably 65 to 80 foot pounds would be my guess based on the size of the bolts. But I just go until it's tight, good and tight. That's German for tight. To seat the ball joint, you're gonna jack up the control arm and um, wiggle the spindle a little bit. It should automatically fall in. Use this nut, ratchet it in by hand, slowly, don't use an impact, until it's seated. Then you're gonna tighten it down, torque it up nice and tight. But when you tor torque it up nice and tight, you need to you know, pay attention. When it feels tight, you're gonna have to look and you're gonna want the hole in the ball joint to line up with one of these castle nuts so you can put a new um, pin in. Hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully it saved you some money. If it did, hit me up on Patreon. Dollar a month helps a lot more than you think it does. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and till next time, wrench on.